What is going on, TG and FPS? My name is Mr. Crayola, and I got you the Modern Warfare 3 perks. Uh, these are absolutely confirmed by Robert Bowling, so don't be trolling on my vids. But uh, I'm just going to go through them, the first to second, third tier perks. And I'm going to give you my recommendations for when the game actually comes out. You guys to know, oh, Mr. Crayola taught me this. I should be rocking this, this, and that, you know. But it's all good. So let's get this bitch ass started. First perk, we got Recon. It's an explosive damage. Paints the target on the map, the target on the map. And I believe what this does is, like, if, if somebody triggers your Claymore or something, uh, I think it pops, like, a little red dot on your minimap or your GPS, whatever it's called. And um, I, I guess that's useful for someone to be like, oh, there's a guy there, you know? The pro perk would be uh, bullet damage paints the target on the minimap. So if you shoot a guy once, get a hit marker, uh, the red dot will probably follow him for a couple of seconds so he can't go off hiding or something. Pretty useful, very useful. Uh, the second, we got sleight of hand. Uh, fast reloading, very simple and basic. We know this from the past Call of Duties. And uh, you swap weapons faster. Pretty basic on pro, pretty basic, pretty basic. Uh, blind eye, undetectable by air support and sentries. So I believe that this is like a cold-blooded comparing it to Modern Warfare 2. Um, I guess it's... I I'll go over all of them and then I'll give you my final opinion. That's my knuckles cracking. The pro perk of this would be launchers lock on quicker. Extra bullet damage versus air support and sentries. And that's basically uh, stopping power pro. Launchers on lock launchers lock on quicker on air support would, would be very useful, very helpful. And extreme conditioning, sprint for long distances, climb obstacles faster, and scavenger reach supply from dead bodies, spawn an extra max. Pretty basic, we've seen them before, nothing new. But for the first couple of days, I would recommend people using blind eye. Um, a lot of people are going to be rocking low kill streaks uh, just to get, like, you know, get better games. And um, uh, with blind eye, basically, you just like people can't see you on air support. So when people are staring at their mini map trying to learn the map, and you just pop out, be like, "What's good?" Just kill them. Uh, that's that's my opinion. We're gonna go on the second tier perks. And first, we have quick draw, which is faster aiming. And the pro addition uh, would be recover faster after using, after using equipment and grenades. Um, faster aiming, slide up hand pro, I guess, compared to monitor for two. Um, recover faster after using equipment grenades. I guess you can like throw a frag or put down a claymore or something like that. And you can recover faster, uh, get back into the gunfight. Second, we have blast shields, increased explosive resistance, um, resistance to flashes and stuns on pro. Uh, we've seen this before. Hardline, kill streaks require one fewer kill. And for pro, every two assists counts as one kill toward your kill streak. Um, which is there. This is very useful. This has been a rumor since the game bef before the game actually came out and fall all these things. Um, uh, which is very useful, very nice. I don't know how this is gonna end up. I believe you get a kill, but I, I think we're not gonna get that kill streak part. I don't know. We're gonna have to see until the game actually comes out. Fourth, we have assassin undetectable by UAV thermal and heartbeat sensor. This is a very basic uh, cold blooded. Uh, Pro is immune to UAV and EMP, and no red crosshair or name when targeted. Uh, Cold-blooded Pro, or just cold-blooded put together. Uh, last one, we have Overkill. Two primary weapons, no attachments on secondary weapons. We've seen this around COD 4, and the Pro perk allows detachments on second primary. Um, so basically, what I would recommend is Quick Draw. I, I guess... You got, I would recommend quick draw first, and then like if you get like too many hit markers, if it's still difficult to kill people like it is in Black Ops, uh, then switch to Hardline. Um, just, just it's like if somebody steals your kill too much, then you can get that extra kill every two assists with Hardline. Very useful, very useful. Uh, third perk, we are going to be rocking either Marksman, which is identify enemy, whoa. Marksman would identify as an enemy at longer range. I think it does like a little red cross here around the enemy so you guys can locate him. So you guys with bad eyesights can be like, it's a little helpful. And for pro, it's like longer breath hold. Uh, there's a perk for that. I forgot what it was called. It was Steady Aim Pro on Modern Warfare 2. I don't, uh, no, it was Scout Pro on Black Ops. Next we have Stalker, which is move faster while aiming. 
um, which is very useful if you're aiming around corners and stuff. And the pro perk, delay enemy claymore explosions, which is very useful, very useful. I think Scrambler did that. Uh, sit rep, detect enemy explosives and tactical insertions, and pro louder enemy footsteps. We've seen this before. Steady aim, increased hip fire accuracy. Weapon is ready faster after sprinting, and dead silence reduces sound from footsteps. The thing with dead silence, it says it reduces. I don't know if like it's silent at completely or just reduce or like reduces and no sound, something like that. I don't know. Uh, pro is just like commando pro, no fall damage. Honestly, I would be rocking. This is this is always the toughest one. Uh, marksman and stalker, and dead silent. Oh, all right. Let's. I'm gonna go with marksman and stalker. Um, I, I'm gonna be rocking marksman for the first couple of games. I don't like. Then I'll switch on to stalker. Oh, no, 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 not Stalker. Huh. Uh, I'm just going to go with Marksman for now. But And then just try out Dead Silence. If it just reduces and doesn't take the whole sound off completely, then we're, I don't know. Uh, basically, Search and Destroy, you should be rocking Dead Silence. For other game types, you should be rocking Marksman. Um, steady Aim, always useful if you have a sniper rifle. If you're a sniper like me, do not be afraid to use Steady Aim. Uh, the game just came out try to go for those sick ass montages because I, I know I will um, so basically just to sum everything up I think we have sleight of hand uh, quick draw and dead silence or marksman that, that's just basically all my opinions thanks everybody for watching my name is Mr. Carilla and I'm out peace